batteries and paints are just some of the hazardous things recycling centers may tell you not mix in. But as news reporter Julio Avila shows us, they were welcomed at a special collection earlier today. Norfolk residents lined outside the Huntersville Community Center. This is all looking to get rid of hazardous household items. This is the better way. A better way to preserve the environment during Recycle Day. A day where items that recycling professionals would normally tell you to keep out of the recycling bin get accepted. It's hosted by the City of Norfolk's Keep Norfolk Beautiful. Then they'll be on their way to drop off household hazardous waste. Tanya Whitley was first in line and brought pieces of metal and batteries. It's um, for the environment and um, I pick up scrap metal at my job on the road. <laughs> Hazardous items such as paints as well as other chemicals were collected and these are things that your typical recycling center might not take. People could also bring their unwanted documents and papers to be shredded, which is exactly what this truck does. Now, as we've learned, of course, paper is recyclable, just not the shredded stuff. And the puff of air blowing it all over the place. It just becomes a mess. It can become litter and pollution. Shredding documents with personal information is the sole reason Val Crowell came out. I shred at home, but there's sometimes a lot more than you shred in your hand. Morgan Dewey says the city of Norfolk also provides some of these services, such as the paper shredding throughout the year. They are looking to host another recycle day in July. They know that they're contributing to hundreds of thousands of pounds from toxic, harmful chemicals from potentially entering our waterways, uh, our soil, or harming our refuse collectors. In Norfolk, Julio Avila, News 3.